Here at Alders Farm today on Pines Lake, it's a beautiful day, the sun's out, uh, there's lots of fish moving around, but hoping we're going to be able to catch some skimmers and some bream today on a long pole. There's been loads coming out, um, been catching quite a few of them myself a couple of weeks ago and I'm actually caught 48 pound of, of bream and skimmers. On the peg I'm actually going to fish today, uh, that actually won the lake, there was, I caught a few carp as well a bit later on, so hopefully we'll, um, we'll have a really nice day. There's bream and skimmers in all the lakes here at Alders and in, especially in the winter when it goes a bit colder there, fish that definitely are worth targeting. Um, uh, I had, had quite a lot of success through the winter time, particularly um, on all of the lakes, fishing for bream and fishing for skimmers. And there's one particular mix that I've been using for about the last year or so. I've caught plenty of fish with it, and it's something that I'm really confident in. So I tend not to change it, I, I use it all the time. Um, and it's just a simple 50 50 mix of the Price is Right Amino Attack Ground Bait and 50% uh, crushed expander, pellet guys, crushed expander. The fish uh, eat loads and loads of pellets. They're bought up eating pellets. So to me, it makes sense to put some crushed expander in the mix as well. I do darken the mix off, uh, depending on the color of the water, the clarity of it with uh, a bit of census Tracix dye, just to adjust it depending on the uh, clarity on the day because it does mix up quite light because of this amino attack. Uh, and then the only other thing I do, and this is something Trevor Price put me on to about a year ago, and again, I've caught loads of fish every time I've used it. So to me, there's no need to change it. Um, and it's the amino liquid, Price is Right amino liquid. It's strong old stuff, so you only need a tiny little bit. Bottle will last for ages. Um, I just put a tiny little bit in the cap and I put that in the water that I'm mixing the ground bait with. Uh, the ground bait mixes up um, very easily. I just put the uh, ground bait in the bowl 50-50, I flood it with water, get it nice and claggy, leave it for 10 minutes and then push it for a riddle and it's ready to go. You don't really need to adjust it or do anything else with it. Uh, it holds together nice and you can put a few particles in it. I sometimes put a few micro pellets in it or a few maggots. Um, it's perfect.